Hello friends, YouTubers, subscribers, thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing. So today I come with a video um, regarding problems in the family. Um, you can say in-laws creating problems or the teething and greasing problems of what happens once you go into your in-laws house and many a times we face problems because of how things normally are in different houses we've learned different things in our own houses and when we go to the other house everything seems very different and people have uh, different beliefs principles so how do we um, enter into a family without creating problems for ourselves and others? I thank myself for being here. I thank Ricky for being here. I thank the person watching this video for being here. I thank all my spiritual guides for being here and guiding me. And I thank your spiritual guides for being here and guiding me. I cast aside my ego and I request the same from you. So let's see what is happening that is creating these uh, difference of opinions and difference of principles and beliefs. Acceptance and resistance. Seems like those cards don't want to be here. All the better. So, everyone is in the dark, nobody can see the light, but now, since this card has come, I am sure it will shed some light into your situation. I would like to send Reiki so that it can shed some light into the situation. We all have difference of opinions. We all have our own mind. 
our own thought processes and we don't have to always be in the defensive side or on the offensive side in any matter especially when it comes to uh, family bonding and family relationships it's good to be neutral and not to take sides in any way at least if you know you are right First we got the card of the Hermit and then we got the card of the devil, or the devil. Both these cards are major cards. That means that there is something very big that's happening. Uh, anger, issues, jealousy, greed, limiting beliefs, orthodox beliefs. narrow beliefs selfish beliefs imposing beliefs to others these are all recipes of creating havoc in your married life or with your in-laws So let us send Reiki to this. In the beginning when we just began, so many cards fell down. This means that a lot of beliefs have been shaken up. A lot of thoughts have been... Um, broken down into small tiny pieces emotions and uh, I believe that that was a sign that we need to pick them up or pick ourselves up back from square one and start over but we don't know where to start from because we are stuck because of certain circumstances whatever they may be Maybe you are stuck or maybe the other side is stuck or maybe they are adamant or you are adamant. It depends, whatever it is. Um, if you want to be together, then there are obviously many solutions that are there. Uh, what would you pick is what is important. So the cards that have fallen, there are so many, but I can see about three or four that are open. So I'm going to pick those cards up. I'll pick the rest, but I'll pick the ones that are open. And they are one, two, three, four. I think I have four cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so there are thirteen cards. And these are cards that had fallen with them. I'll keep them on the side. So it looks like there's something major going on. Or whoever is going to be watching this video is facing a lot of issues. Let's see. See you again. I wonder what they are trying to tell me.
Okay. Queen of Cups, Five of Cups, Judgment, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, King of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Ace of Wands, The Hierophant, The Chariot, The Star, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Eight of Wands and Eight of Swords. So if you're a tarot reader, I'm sure you'll be able to see what is happening here. And then these two that were falling out of seven of swords and two of cups. Okay, so these are the energies that we need to work on basically for this healing. There's something we might have said or we might have done that started all this situation that is there. There has been a lot of gossiping about things that were not meant to be gossiped about. You know, when somebody blows a trumpet and if it's heard the wrong way or if the tune was not good or the tone, it creates tension and tension creates more tension and things go haywire and I think this is what is happening here. It was not any wrong intention but it can be misinterpreted the wrong way. But whatever was spoken was spoken the, of the truth it was true, you see, because it was the truth, it has hurt somebody and truth always hurts. And when the, it cannot be accepted, then there is more tension in the, in the family. There's a lot of distance that has been created and this distance between you and the in-laws, you and your spouse is more of a, of a imbalanced situation, more of opposing views more of who's right and who is wrong that is creating such big cuts and distance between all of you let us send Reiki to this so that this distance is reduced When you, are when you are in a joint family, um, normally the spouse 
meaning the the girl the girl who is married to the son of the family she is like the lone wolf who's getting into a different pack of wolves and normally it's harsh it's a very awkward feeling that i'm feeling even right now um see some rules that are created long time ago you know what i mean long as in really orthodox basically this is old family traditions old values like the herophant these are very um that is actually what is limiting all the communications in this scenario right now let's see So let us send Ricky so that new opportunities can come into your lives. Sometimes we enter into families that have always lived by their own um, beliefs and principles, and they've been happy with them because they've always been safe, and uh, it's worked for them. Fortunately or unfortunately. when you as a person added into this family the same values have not been working so it's a shock for them and a shock for you of what is happening here and then there are other involvements which are outside they're of the family but they're outside of you and your spouse it's in-laws and and the family immediate family or external family members but they're within this whole scenario so what's the solution to this let us send reiki to this so that it opens up these negative um thought patterns that are there
Sometimes orthodox belief works in some scenarios, but not all. And the, first, the second card that came, the devil, um, normally the original um, tarot deck that uh, is out there, when the devil card is there, there are chains binded to these two people. And there is a devil behind them. Um, it, do, it doesn't depict that there's a, there's a negative entity or anything, but it's, it's a symbolism that our beliefs are limiting us, our thought patterns are limiting us to give our full potential in any kind of relationship. And um, our orthodox beliefs are, are pulling us down, are chaining us and binding us in our own negativity. Sometimes we know what the truth is, but we still don't look towards it. We look to something else because we don't want others to feel bad about it in any way. So there's a period of judgment, meaning that it's all being waiting and processing, waiting and processing. And it's going to take long by the time things get better. Um, very long. Not, it's not going to be a short period of time where things will start to change. So it depends on how you will tackle these situations. If if you're if you're within the environment, then what is the 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 thing you want? Uh, you want this thing to continue, the marriage because of your in-laws, or you want it to break apart, or uh, what is the solution, what is the situation like, and it's a 50-50. If it's this serious um, for you, when you're in a 50-50 kind of a situation, what would you like to do? Um, would you like to continue? and move on or what choice do you have let's say you want to continue then because if you don't want to then it's just easy but if you want to continue and uh, make sure that everything gets green and better from where you are then steps need to be taken and small steps at a time you will need to remold everything like a net so let us send Ricky for that find ways and solutions to bond together again if there are external entities that are creating these issues entities meaning people not spirit but people then let this Reiki help and cut those negativities that are creating all this havoc. Sometimes influence is what is creating these problems. Other people's influences, other people's thought forms, other people's thinking. When they get to you in your head, then things start going crazy. So let us send Reiki to help you understand who you are, who they are, and then find a solution, um, amicable solution to solve these problems with your in-laws, which is creating a problem in your marriage. And by any chance, if you are not in the environment in that same home anymore, then let me send Reiki for that so that you can go back into that home so things can start to work amicably for your marriage.
and your relationship with your in-laws can improve. Don't make yourself believe that you're not good enough for, for this situation. In fact, you are. Because if you've lasted this long in this situation, then that means you do care about something. So don't break your self-esteem or your identity because of all these issues. Sometimes these things happen because of... Uh, karma it's a karmic debt that we need to pay or we are paying for the future for a better life and sometimes we just need to go through these life lessons so that we can teach others on how to go about it in a safer way in a better way that than this situation so let reiki flow accept this reiki with a clean heart Thank you for accepting this Reiki and uh, I hope this video helps whoever watches this video and see you next time.